جر جر یموده یموده یا شری یادم علی یم نست به تیرگوده تیرگوده یا شری یادم علی یم علی شپی support the Arabs who um, are feeling the backlash of the terrorist attack on Tuesday. We need to use this time to show we're really upset about all the violence that's going down in New York, but also the violence that's going down around the world, and that the United States, um, you know, was founded on this kind of terrorism, and it still continues today. And if we go to war, I'm not going in there with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we want to welcome you all here. We really felt that it was important for us to have a gathering for people of color to come together and stand in solidarity with our Arab sisters and brothers here in the United States as well as abroad. We also want to be angry and allow ourselves to feel that anger and that rage for those stolen lives. We want to also understand, though, that their lives were lost because of our government's inhumane foreign policy. And we should be angry. We should be pissed off at what our country does around the rest of the world that leads us not to be safe here. That's who we should be angry at. We should be angry at our government that starves children. Not only are Arabs and Muslim Americans grieving as all people from the United States, but we are also struggling to resist the vile anti-Arab and anti-Muslim racism and prejudice that has flooded the streets and minds of the U.S. public. But we also urge all of us here today to not forget our brave brothers and sisters under siege or have been under siege in Puerto Rico, in Palestine, in Colombia, in Iraq, and in Kosovo, who upon their communities rain down bombs each and every single day. The Arab and Muslim communities stand in solidarity with the Japanese American community who faced internment in the 40s, the African American community who faced attacks in the 60s, and the indigenous people of this land we stand on here who faced attacks throughout the colonization of this land. The Latino American community who experienced a crackdown within the last 10 years of anti-immigrant legislation. We've always seen America drop bombs on people. Now the chicken is coming home to roost, as Malcolm said. We've got to deal with it. they got people so dedicated they're going to commit suicide to make their point. We gotta understand there's a war going on that people are fighting for their own life, for their land, right? We gotta support the people. We cannot let the demise of the media take our spirits down. We don't want to see our people die, innocent people dying, but they're fighting a war. They don't have the army to fight a blockhouse warfare with the American people. Don't call them cowards. They're heroes that died, and they're the people that we have to support in this case. The people of color are rising here, and we gotta understand that. I just want to say we got to support and don't let this thing turn your spirits down. Turn them up! I keep on living with the fullness of the one like the heat of the sun or the skin on the drum. But now I'm fully marinated and now I'm ready for the fire. So you can fire one, fire one, fire two. But then when we knew what those places represented, we were kind of all so glad that they had a place called the Pentagon where, where military strategies uh, which have killed millions of people around the face of the world. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole list. We know, uh, when, you know, to see that place burning, there was some satisfaction to it. I wish during the Pearl Harbor time there were more people that stood in solidarity for us. And so that's why I'm here. It's the bombs that the government has been dropping around the world that are now blowing up inside the U.S. borders. And I hope you do We've got something stronger than bombs. We have solidarity. That dream of revolutionary change is stronger than bombs.